represents? Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, it's funny because uh, 10 years ago, uh, so I was 16, uh, the most valuable thing I had, and this thing meant the world to me, was a tiny, tiny little pride flag that was also a mirror. And this thing could actually fit inside my wallet. And, uh, and earlier that year, uh, the girl I was seeing, she actually died in a hate crime. She was murdered. And the culprits were her friends and members of her family. So when, uh, as that being your coming out experience of having someone die, um, this tiny pride flag that was probably only like this big by this wide, that could fit in my wallet meant the entire world to me because it gave me hope for some reason. Uh, I know that sounds stupid, um, but in Ohio, where, where I'm from in the north, it was very dangerous to come out 10 years ago. Uh, and then I moved to uh, Los Angeles, where they had gay flags on the cop cars. Yeah, they have gay flag stickers like painted on the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do, they do. And I, I thought on how strange it was that just, you know, like uh, maybe 2,000 miles away, uh, I was getting bottles thrown at me for, for simply who I dated. Um, so, in the past eight years, we were able, and at least this is in America, not only were we able to get married, but we were able to serve in the armed forces. We were able to not be kicked out of our houses for being gay. We were able to keep our jobs and get jobs that, even though we were openly gay, so we couldn't be fired or be denied work for being gay, uh, we were also taken off uh, a list of psychological disorders uh, and mental health problems. All of this happened in the past eight years. So going from the uh, the Stonewall riots that was like probably seen as the first pride to this, even though it's a completely different country and Leon is a very conservative city, this is still a celebration for who you are and it is okay for you to be you.